Hello guys, my name is Nora Saha and in this series of View Firebase tutorial we are going to create a simple contact form that takes name, email, message and when user click the submit button we store that data in a Firebase database. So the first thing you have to do is to install VS Code then install Node.js you can find the link of this website in the description. After that open command prompt and navigate to folder where you want to save this view project. Then write a flowing code to create a view project. Write view. create and then project name select manual select feature then navigate to linter and deselect by using space key then hit enter here we are using Vue.js 3 so choose 3.x and we want to use dedicated config files no and it will take some time to complete this process now our project is completely created so navigate to the project folder cd simple form and to open this uh, project folder in a vs code write code space dot now open the terminal and type npm run serve to run this project so I'm gonna click here control plus click and here you can see our project is created Now to make our view syntax more readable, go to extension and install Vitter. Now if you go to the source component, here you will find hello old.view. So let's remove this because we do not need this. Uh, we will create our own component because we remove the hello world so go to app.view and also remove the hello world related code now right click on component create a file simple form dot view to get a startup template type view and you have to choose this default view hit enter now let's use this component in our app dot view So before we use this component, we have to import it, import, simple, form, from, dot, slash, component, slash, simple, form, dot, view. 
then we have to register this as a component now we can use this component here simple form save this and as you can see contact that means till now our code is working so let's write a form code in our simple form dot view I'm going to wrap all the code using section Here I group each individual input field using a form group. Now let's save this and see the result in browser. It working but it needs some styling. So go to the github link from the description and navigate to source or src components and then simple form dot view. Then I'm gonna just copy all this and I'm gonna paste it in the style section so let's save this and see the result okay now it should look much more better but it will be much better if this tags not in the center so I'm going to app dot view and remove this tax align center now I'm gonna save and see 
okay now it's look perfect here for all the code we use border box and we use a font family monster rat then for a section we give a hundred vertical height display the element inside the section using flex then make it center and arrange them in a column then inside a container class we make a width 90% the maximum width can be goes up to 500px margin is 0 auto padding is 20px then we add a box shadow where its alignment is 0 on horizontal also 0 on vertical but its blur is 20px and its color is this and the border radius is 8 pixel for each form group we assign a margin top 20px font size 20px and the color is light gray then for an input field and a text area which is inside a form group we make a width 100% give a padding 5px font size 80px and the border is 1px with a solid color and the margin top is 5px here resize vertical means a user can resize the text area vertically but not horizontally at last for a button we give its width 100% border known padding 20px font size 24px border radius 8px cursor is pointer margin top 10px now let's create a variable for name email and message inside the export default write data this is the method so it written and here we declare those variable first one is name the second one is email at last message now to store the data in this variable we use vmodel so in the input field write vmodel and we want to store the full name in our name variable so I'm gonna write vmodel and name likewise vmodel and for email obviously we store email in email so I write email then at last in text area do the same thing now to check uh, it is working I'm gonna display name email and message To display the value of any variable like the name we have to write name and surround the name with a double parenthesis now if I save this and go to the browser 
here is a result or we can also add here just for convenient name email and message so I'm gonna save this and again now if I type here a name here you can see it update here and the email is z dot com friend now when I click a uh, submit button you may notice that the page refresh this is the default behavior of the form we can remove that behavior just to have to go to form tag and click add submit then after add submit write dot prevent and when I save this now let's write the name again now when I click a submit button it will no longer refresh so guys this much for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will create a firebase account so that we can store this data